bee boo boo bop boo boo beep. No man, you're thinking of bee boo boo bop boo boo bop. Bee boo 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 bop. I know editing Zach is gonna have a fun time putting that together. Ah! Boys, we're <laughs> boys, welcome back to Chef You Have. Today we have a very very special recipe for your enjoyment. Today we're. Today, we're making a Bastion recipe. Well, okay, technically not a Bastion recipe. It, it, it's Bastion's bird, okay? It's, it's Gain... I still don't know how to pronounce his name! It's this little cutie's recipe who I still surprisingly don't have a plushie for. You know Stylosa has the prototype of that plushie? But while I would love to steal Stylosa's plushie, we're not gonna be doing that today because we're making the bird-shaped pretzel. So I think by now you're familiar with the ingredients. We need the flour, we need the brown sugar, we need some yeast infection! We need some some warm water. Yeast infection. Uh, what a professional. Exactly one and a half. Well, maybe not exactly one, but exactly one and a half. And then next, we're gonna need a mixing bowl for <laughs> mixing things. This one should do the trick. Now pay attention to this part because this is oh so crucial. You're gonna take your one and a half cups of water. <laughs> You're only gonna find that clean technique on the number one cooking show in the online gaming community, and I mean it. Anybody who says they have a better co Next up, we got light brown sugar. Now, I never understood why they name it tablespoons and teaspoons because, like, you don't eat tables with this spoon. Every Overwatch recipe needs the oh so famous salt, except for Doomfist. Only half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, <laughs> Bastion, I know you're a robot and all, but I know you're salty underneath all those components. And of course, the ingredient that makes everything rise, except for our SR, the yeast. And of course, last but not least, we need the butter, but we need this melted. Kobe! And then we're gonna melt that boy. Every single time I melt butter, I just want to drink it. Kobe as a layup. Oh, oh baby, it's oh. Now we get to mix in and mix in and mix in. But then you know what we do next? My least favorite part. Add flour. I absolutely hate this because I can never add the right amount. Once you get four cups in there, you don't want to stir too much, which I found out slowly over time because that builds gluten. First of all, what even is gluten? Like, does anybody really know what it is? You know, I'm not saying it's not a real thing, but neither is my hopes and dreams of climbing up to GM. Let's knead this beautiful piece of dough. I have learned that just like mixing, you don't want to knead too much because once again, you're gonna build gluten. I'm not having this conversation again. I low-key became the master of kneading, not only because I'm a needy person, but I'm good at kneading things. Now, I can't lie to you guys, this ball of dough, it looks pretty. <laughs> but we gotta see if it pokes back. Oh my god, it actually did poke back. Let's go. Get in the bowl. I forgot I have to grease this too. <laughs> Get some oil, which Bastion just assumes you have, but it makes sense because Bastion's a robot and needs oil. But you also need some paper towel. Bastion, we're still in a pandemic. Grease it up, grease it up. Grease it up. My knuckles hurt now. We lay our boy to rest. For how long? Say it with me now. And now I, I hate it. Get out of there. I hate it here. But guess what I hate even more? Oh, I just spilled oil everywhere. Wait a minute. It's not parchment paper that I particularly I hate parchment paper. Trust. Freaking plastic wrap. It's plastic crap that I hate. Oh, bro, you whack. Well, if you weren't so slammy, maybe then you'd have better control over the parchment paper. Plastic. You know, if you were a little bit more flexible in your Overwatch games, maybe you would be top 500 by now. Reality hurts, don't it? Let me cook how I want to cook. Okay. So now we let this rise for an hour. Guess where? Outside. This sucks. Two hours later. <laughs> I fell asleep, but our boy grew in the meantime. Not only did I just wake up, but I'm not the smartest reader, but step three has like at least three different steps within it. I need to preheat the oven. I need to get some cups of water, bring it to a simmer, not a boil. I need to cut it into eight pieces, not enough, like, cook down, Bastion. Pot of water, or pot of uh, potential water. But anyway, one cup, two cups. I lied about the first one. And then one cup. And then of course, one third cup of baking soda, which to me looks like a lot like baking powder because it's powder that you use for baking. Okay, that looks a lot like crack too. Bring that boy to a simmer. But then while that's simmering, bring this boy out of this chamber. Look at him. Look at him. Let's bring him out. Um. Uh, then it says we gotta punch the stove back to size. 
I just need one punch. Call me one punch man. <laughs> Sorry. Then we gotta divide this into eight equal pieces. <laughs> that was good, huh? Now comes the hard part, trying to roll these out into <laughs> actual <laughs> pretzels. It says we gotta roll these out into 10 inches, nine inches longer than what I'm used to. I always see people at the mall just doing this little number, which Loki is helping. How long is that? Oh Lord, that is like 13,000 inches! People that work at Pretzel Place is probably cringy right now. It's like, I might hate my life and my job, but you should hate yourself for how you're doing this. All right, so this is 10 inches. Then I gotta bring this into a knot. Come on, it can't be that hard. You watch Spongebob, you do a loop-de-loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. Come on. It's not long enough! I've heard that before. Oh my god, I actually did it. <laughs> I did it! You need to flatten out the tail so this can be the tail, and then this could be his little head. Oh my god, this is gonna be so cute. It says we gotta score the tail, so we're gonna just take a knife and... <laughs> oh my god, he looks like a cute bird already. Look at him! I mean, his side looks a little bit busted, but if you look at it from this side, this is cute! Dude, these pretzels are gonna be chunky boys. Oh my god! God, even 12 inches is too big. Pause, but like, it, it is! There's our next bird. God, he is so chunky. Oh my god, he ate one too many funnel seeds, which is actually a spice that we're using. Okay, so we flatten his tail out, score his tail. Oh, I don't know how bird's tail is supposed to look, but I think this is a cute design. Yep, yep, you are so chunky. All right, boys, there we have it. Here are our bird families. Look at how cute they look. This one is a chunky one. <laughs> so here is our bird's bath. It's nice and simmery where they will soon meet their demise. We also want to preheat this boy to 400 degrees. All right little birdie there you go have fun oh. swimming it's not coming out no oh, i need to be basting the boy get on him go god this really is a bastion bird recipe we're having them soak in gamer girl water i think that's k uh where do i put you oh my god he is so chunky this is so stupid this is this is the dumbest part of this recipe oh no his tail got lost ah. i think i'm just gonna drop the bird in there yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh my god, they look so cute. Pancake, shut up! Look at how cute they look! They look like little lovebirds! Because they are birds, but are they in love? Well, we're making some fan fictions about them right now. I mean, if you're not gonna write fan fictions about me, the least you can do is write it about my cute little birds. <sighs> All right, boys, we got it. We got some birds. They look very funny looking, though. <laughs> this one's just crying to be executed. He is so big! But we're not done there, because now we gotta season these boys. Let's get some salt. Season these boys. Boys, nice and goodly. But then we're gonna get a little bit spicy. We're gonna follow the recipes with our funnel seeds and coliander. We're gonna cover one batch of these with the spices. Get some coliander in there and then get the funnel seeds. Or is it fennel? Funnel? Fennel? Yeah. Uh, those are very big. Probably should have mashed these a little bit. Yeah, you know what? We're fine. But that's not all! Because now we're gonna get a little bit crazy with it and add some cinnamon, bro! This is the best spice known to man. I don't want anybody to at me. And then for these two, these normal birds, we're just gonna add a little bit of sugar and top that right there. I don't know if it's supposed to be powdered sugar or regular sugar, but you know what? I'm the number one chef here and you're not. We also gotta make holes for the eyes, so very carefully just kind of do this little number, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Now comes the exciting part. Burning, Burning these, these birds, birds alive. alive. In you go, in you go, and in you go, son. All right, so then we let those baby girls cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. I'm doing 13 and a half, because I don't know how long I should cook these. Meanwhile, at the Krusty Krab. Me millions of dollars! Let's see these girls! Oh. Oh, these girls, they looking pretty, bruh. Oh my god, look at how chunky that one is. We need some dried currants. They're just blackberries. Somehow I gotta make these into eyes. Come on, be nice with me. I don't think these are working. Modern problems call for modern solutions. Let's get some chips ahoy in there. F some fruit. We need some chocolate chips. I went completely rogue on this recipe, but I'm all for it. All right, guys, here's our cute little birdie. This looks nothing like a bird. This looks like a pill bug from Animal Crossing. It's still hot and fresh, so let's just take a bite out of it and see how it goes. Ew. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I only put three 
with those funnel seeds. Oh, the seeds killed it for me. I get it, he's a bird, but that tastes disgusting. What about our cinnamon bird? That's a lot better. It's very doughy. <laughs> now, does it look like the picture? What the f kind of look like twins? <laughs> I did forget about the almond beaks, but newsflash, I'm allergic to nuts. I don't think I failed this recipe. Like, uh, I made pretzels, it is somewhat good, but the actual recipe with the funnel seeds, uh-uh. Nah, you know what, that's not my fault. That's the, that's Bastion's fault, F you Bastion. Anyway guys, I love you guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the terrible lighting here at the end, it just got really dark out. Thank you guys for supporting this series, and of course, the number one chef in the online gaming community. I love you guys, more of watch videos to come, and bye.